All right, so let's go over the basics of the table. Um, we'll start with the skill shot, since that's how you start out of the lane. There's basically two skill shots to this that I have found and researched. There's no good tutorials on this other than generic rules. There was a Reddit post and there was a, a Pinside forum, but I also called a buddy who plays this table and played it a lot myself to get all this information for you guys. So, skill shot is um, a strong plunge up and the flashing light in the three lanes up there is a skill shot. Obviously, you can move that with the flippers, so you can choose any one of the three with the flippers. Um, however, if you don't, you get a bonus 100k for not moving it with the flippers. And then there's the super skill shot. That is a light plunge, like so. And it will lock down here in the Loki lock and then come down. And then you get the Captain America shot. And as you see, I just got what's called the super skill shot there. I didn't even mean to do that, um, but I have been playing with it quite a bit. So hopefully I can give you guys some insight to it. Any questions on the skill shot? I'm happy to answer them. Um, but those are the two that I have found. I've also, with that skill shot, gotten Captain America progressed quite nicely. Um, I'll go into that in a second. If I had shot the top skill shot, I would have selected the lane or not, gotten the bonus if I hadn't used the flipper. Um, that does not count towards the Loki lock, which I'll get to in a minute. Oh, gotcha. Um, if I had gone for that top skill shot, it would have also, and made it, it would have also given me two lights. You have to light six lights up there in those three lanes. Once you do, you get your multipliers up there, much like other games. Uh, so the first time 2x, second time 3, 4, 5, etc. I've gotten that up to 17x before, but that is a lot of shots. Um, it's not very much fun. Those pop bumpers there underneath actually stay active quite a bit you could keep the game going a long time just keeping it in the pop bumpers um, but that covers the three lanes up there um, now I'll go into some of the tricky parts of the table but let's go over the characters so you have six Avengers you have six shots you need to focus on we'll start with Thor Thor basically you drop the targets four times you're, you're going to basically... I missed it. There we go. So right there, one of his hammers went from flashing to solid. So I want to try to hit the others. And I want to do that four times. And that'll start Thor. But it won't light him up. Um, it just starts him up. I'm probably going to end up hitting Hulk before I hit Thor, but... We'll try. Yeah, there's Thor once. Now I want to do it a second time. Better a rinse repeat. Once I do that four times, I'll put him into a mode where. Um, I'll complete more shots. Um, but he'll he'll start flashing at that point. So there's three modes for each of the characters. There's not lit, flashing, and solid. And you progress each of the Avengers by continually working their shots. So Thor is these four drop targets. Hawkeye is one, two, three, four, five shots up this ramp. This ramp also focuses towards Loki, which we'll get to in a sec. Um, same thing for Captain America, five shots. The Hulk is a little different. Much like Thor, you drop and spell Hulk four times. Um, I've actually pretty much started that or gotten almost there because on ball one, I've already got Hulk multi-ball going. Uh, Black Widow right here. Same as the others. It's actually a pretty good shot. You gotta be exact with it, but five shots starts Widow. Um, and then you continue that to progress her mode through, and I'll, I'll show you guys some of that. Um, Black Widow is also a place where you can start Hulk multi-ball. 
as well as the um, scoop or whatever that's called there because it will go up the ramp and divert right here and drop in. That's actually an easier way to start hold multi-ball than trying to hit that scoop. Hitting that scoop is not, for me yet, very easy. Um, and the ball is prone in this area to become very bouncy and susceptible to out lanes, which I'll get to. Um, and then we have Iron Man here. Again, five shots, progressive and then he will start a mode. You can get into that mode. Once you complete it, he'll start flashing. You can go into a third mode and then you can get him solid. Loki. Loki is all the lanes here at the bottom. Once you spell Loki, um, it will light on the first time, all three of the locks at once. After the first Loki multi-ball, which you will then, uh, well, I'll go more into that, but You'll actually have to run those four out lanes and in lanes. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine times um, to light. So each time you can, I'm sorry, 12 times, because each time you light the four, that'll light one. But that's only after the first one. So we'll get into that a little bit. The Loki one is a little strange. Um, the L and O only work on your left flipper. So you can change the active lane on your left flipper and your right flipper is the K and the I. So just something to note. Uh, once you light up Loki, you can then go up the Hawkeye ramp and instead of the normal diversion, which is around and then down here, it will actually lock in here and you can do that three times. Once you've locked the third ball, you'll start lo Loki multi-ball. Um, there are also multi-ball, so to speak, outside of Loki. There's Hulk multi-ball that used to be six ball. I don't remember specifically because it's pretty chaotic on this table, but it should be five balls on the normal ROM and you can add a ball to there so you can get up to six. But five balls drop down and basically you're trying to hit all the bank targets to get the jackpots. And once you get the bank targets down, you hit Hulk again. And those are all jackpots. Then the targets will reset. You can rinse and repeat. The jackpots grow and grow. After four times of doing that, the super jackpot will light up. And that is behind Hulk right back here. It's hard to see, but you'll see that light up and you can attempt to hit that shot. I've not lit that yet. Here there we go. Comes, here comes Speed Racer. He's a demon. Um, He's a demon. Yeah. And gonna be so the other multi ball modes are actually. Um, there's a mini wizard mode, but there's also, you know, a wizard mode. We'll get into those. But there's also multi balls on the character. So as you progress each character, let's see if we can get one going now. Oh, there's the other thing the pop bumpers. Each successive trip up into the pop bumper, which you do via Captain America, you'll score more off of each pop bumper. If that makes sense. Casey okay, so made me self conscious, like I'm not playing. Something to note with some of these characters you don't have to make the complete shot to get credit for. So, if you notice, when I hit the Black Widow spinner, I got credit for Black Widow. Captain America, I only have to hit just under the helicarrier. There's the switch there, so it can be a soft hit as long as it hits that switch. Same thing with Hawkeye, it's back here. Um, you don't have to necessarily go all the way around the shot to get credit for the character. Um, yeah. We haven't talked about the Cosmic Cube yet. We'll talk about that. But there's also, if you notice on the left, some shield targets. 
that's kind of your mystery. Oh, we're gonna get Hulk multi ball so I can get him in. Okay, good. Um, but the shield, you can progress that and hit the little shots and get them all lit, and basically you'll get a mystery reward. I'll go into the cube more in a minute, but it's kind of like theater of magic or the lamp, you know. Um, spin it, you're, you're spelling cosmic. You get some Hulk shot a bit. Multi-ball will end when I get down to one ball for make all the shots. Uh, Alright, so I hit it once. Now the part just reads it. And now it's over, but I could have continued that by dropping all the targets, hitting Hulk again. And then two more times after that I would have gotten the uh the super jack pop there back there. I've not done that yet though. These shots are really tight, but yeah, I can try. I was lucky when I did that first skill shot, because I got it pretty good. This is the dangerous part there, because it can bounce off of this here and then straight down into your out lane. Yep, like that. Get a ball save. There's a two times. All right, so I'm gonna try to work on Captain America here. This shot. We already have Hulk flashing, if you've noticed, because we got through his first mode. We can also work on him, get him to a solid state. But this is a hard game. Yeah, Thor's hammer needs more work too. This game is tough. Um, my best shots so far are Hawkeye, Iron Man, and Black Widow. Those are the ones I can hit pretty good almost all the time. Captain America and uh, Thor <laughs> are a little harder for me, see? But let's, let's see if we can get this game. We'll get some characters moving. And as you complete each shot, you get a different animation on the DMD form. This lower play field is super dangerous. The cube, as you spell cosmic, You'll go into what's called the Tesseract mode, and you get a chance for 90 seconds. Once you're in Cosmic mode, or Tesseract mode, sorry. Um, 90 seconds to spin that cube 15 times. And if you can, you gotta spin it 15 more times, and then again 15 more times until you spell Cosmic. Because um, each 15 gives you one letter. And I don't know if the timer resets or not. It, it seems to indicate that it does, but I'm not certain. The other thing with the cube that's nice is after three spellings of Cosmic, you get extra ball lift, which is here with the Hulk. We got good progression on Captain America. Hulk. Step oh. <laughs> flip. Hey, Jake. For me, Captain America isn't hard. Um, it's just remembering where the shot is each time as it comes down. The momentum can change where your shot is, at least for me. But I can hit it most times, as you can see. Alright. There's also the three blue targets. There's two behind the cube and one back here. Um, getting those lit will increase your spin value on the cube. 
I don't focus on that for like tournament play, but just so you know what they do. That's this one and these two back here. And then when you spell cosmic, those will start flashing again. I don't play as well, guys, when I'm talking, but that's not an excuse. It's just, I mean, that's what I'm here to do is explain things as we go, not not get a high score, but it's gonna be nice. I can actually show you what we're talking about here. Because if we can complete some of these characters, we can start getting in, into some of the scoring um, with the end character mode. So for example, if I were to work Captain America, basically get him worked through three times, once to flashing, which is this one where I got two more shots to get. Um, and then from flashing to solid, which would be a bunch of trips to the pop bumpers for Captain America. Once I get him started. And then he's progressing through this battle in the DMD as you hit the pop bumpers. I don't remember, I think it's 50 hits. Forget. Um, and then once you finish that, you go into the third mode, and it's a uh, basically is head versus head mode, and that starts a mini multi-ball, a two-ball multi-ball with Captain America versus I think it's Loki. But I'm not, I don't remember. That's the only one I've started, but each of the Avengers apparently has one of those modes. So, there's kind of a mini multi-ball on each character. If you complete their mode. Let's work on Captain America. Probably get Hulk with Dolph, but okay. there's Loki. So we just got all three of those lit, and we got a Hawkeye shot. So the first ball's locked. To me, my bonus. Like last night, I had the widow shot down. It was hitting every time. Like every table, you just gotta keep at it. There were about 13 times last night I said, All right, last game. And then I posted, uh, I don't say it was 40 million, but I might be wrong. And then Frisco came behind me five minutes later and beat me by like four million. Black Widow, Hulk One more game. I said that till 2.30 last night. It's horrible. And I should have streamed it. Because I was, you know, I was doing prep work for tonight, too. Here. Now, during Hulk Multiball, you cannot progress any of the characters, but you can progress the cube. So this is a great time to work on the cube. So like right now, I've got however many 90 seconds to spell it, but I'm not gonna do it, because I'm focused on the Hulk. I like hearing it say Jack. Say again, Paul. Now we gotta call the cop back again. Okay, and now behind Paul, that dot's left. I gotta get that target down. Get it. Come on, draft target. There we go. 
Oh, I don't know where that shot is yet. Let's just hope. Ooh, are we done? Oh, that was luck. You do not normally get that easily. Now we're gonna shoot out of the hole. Now that we have pork flashing, let's see if we can get Captain America. Test rack's nice. It moves really well. Even on the real table, it spins really what really nice. Hurry up, partner. All right, tech. So the shield shot, if I didn't say it, I might be repeating myself, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's the mystery shot, so. As you complete each of those. I'll take that. Oh, and now I'm in the third or uh, second mode for Captain America, so I gotta do all these pop bump shots until I get through all those enemies. There's no timer on that. Any of the characters' modes are not timed. Which is nice. And it will continue through from ball to ball. It's also nice. Oops, gosh. Come on, one more Captain America. One more cowbell. Secrets of Shield is lit, so if I get it over there, we should get a mystery. Report. But instead, I went down the outlink. Did you miss the first 15 minutes? 30 minutes, actually? That time goes very fast. This is the skill shot. The secret skill shot is a light plunge to Loki and then straight up to Captain America. The pop bumpers score 5k apiece until you go through them a second time. And then they progressively get higher each trip through the pop bumpers. You can get to the pop bumpers via Captain America. Captain America is right here. You see that? One handed. Have you played this much, Astra? <laughs> Captain Britain is unfortunately not joining us on this table. And do you mean the Captain Carter version or Brian Braddock?
get back out there. Sure. Spelling Cosmic starts um, what's called the Tesseract mode. So you spin the cube and as you spell Cosmic. I think it's 15 spins for each letter. And you'll spell Cosmic. Enter what's called Tesseract mode. Tesseract mode is a timed mission. I think it's 90 seconds. We'll find out here in a second. So there's one letter. And then once you spell it, you can get that 90 second timer. And you can spin it 15 times, get the C, spin it another 15, get the O, rinse, repeat. If you spell the cosmic during the Tesseract mode, a jackpot lights up. Um, you're thinking of Infinity Quest. Once you spell Cosmic, get through Tesseract, whether you time out or you successfully complete, you want to spell Cosmic three times, and then you get a free extra ball lit. If you spell it 25 times, you get another extra ball. So, that is something you will continually do, is spin that cube and spell Cosmic. It's best to try to start the Tesseract mode by finishing Cosmic, if at all possible, when you have a multi-ball. Like I happened to fortunately do last time, but I didn't do anything with it. So here's Cosmic, and now I'm in Tesseract mode. So watch the DMD. And basically, if I just keep hitting that Tesseract, I can spin it 15 times, get a letter. And I believe the timer will reset for the next letter. Oh. And I don't think it's 90 seconds, but I think it's like 30, if that. I don't know. I wasn't looking. We're not going to get it. And the other nice thing, when you're in that mode, if you can't focus on the cube, you can hit any of the hero shots and you'll get uh, a Cosmic Cube bonus shot when you hit it. Hey, Red. So, even though I didn't get the Tesseract mode, I had spelled Cosmic once. If I do it two more times, I'll light the extra ball there you see underneath hope. Different Avengers, Red. And you do want to see Avengers Infinity Quest. I'll be playing that this weekend on the real table, and I'll be broadcasting from Porgy's house in Pennsylvania. Um, he also has Mandalorian, and he's hoping to get Godzilla any day, so... We'll be streaming some real pins this weekend. Yeah, I think it's 25 seconds, honestly. It's short. I mean, you have to be hyper-focused on the cube, because it's... It takes a lot of spins. Just to get a letter. I mean... I'm gonna work on a hero here. Ghostbusters did that the first time I played it. I'm pretty good with that table now.
All right, all right. I'm not gonna ignore you guys, but I'm gonna try to focus on this next round and actually get a score. Ah, I've already screwed it up. I appear to be having a phone but not firing all the time. Black Widow! Did I start it? I wasn't in panic. I think I did read that earlier. Alright, so there's the shit. Put it rather. to get these things done. We'll talk about wizard fights here in a minute too, but... So there's two wizard modes. Um, attack the Helicarrier, which you really only have to have all six flashing for. And Battle for Earth. Battle for Earth requires all six Avengers be lit, and you've gone through all of their modes. Both of them are started with the Hawkeye shot up to the Loki, which starts the mode. And both of them basically entail you following flashing shots on all of the hero shots. I've never seen either one, but once you get to them by lighting up all the Avengers, which is most of the work, hitting those modes is pretty easy. Finishing them, I don't know. I, I think it's about 12 shots, but... I probably won't see that. Miss that the first time, you get a small grace period, but we're going to hit something right there. It's over. Alright, we got Captain America started. I was hoping for one more ball there, but we had two characters going. We were continuing Captain America. We were about a quarter of the way through his second mode, and we had just started Black Widow's first mode. You've been awesome. I appreciate you coming tonight. Next week, LO Cool Play will do Devil's Day. Tomorrow, FX3 Tournament. Thanks, everybody.